I'm Ken Mackay from Mackay & Partners. We're a London-based international practice. Um, we have joint venture offices in Manhattan, Milano and uh, Sydney. Uh, work across three or four different sectors, primarily uh, hotels, high-end residential and commercial media projects. Um, and enjoy working with entrepreneurial driven clients who have vision about what they want to deliver. The project we're working on currently in London is for a, a London developer for a German hotel brand. Uh, it's called Minaries Hotel and it's going to be the first uh, Korean clad building in the UK. So it's working with a new material, um, LED lighting, and part of a three, four star brand, which is you know, a, a really exciting new addition to the London hotel market. I, I think traditionally, uh, society has a view of what an architect should or should not do. Uh, in reality, um, I found in my own experience that it is to communicate and be part of the vision that you're trying to create as a family. It's, it's not just one person's individual style, it's a collaboration between others and with the, the, the delivery team, the, the, the people who are going to operate what, you, what you've created. It's not purely about producing a, a, a finite object that sits in space, it's about a living, a living building that changes and, and modifies and has a life cycle, you know, five years, ten years, twenty-five years, there'll be something else. So it's really understanding what the limitations of what you're designing is, are, and, and how, how those affect other people. So our role, I think, is to really be sustainable, look at the life cycle, recycling, all of those things. It's not as bolt-ons, but actually it's fundamental of what the brief is at the beginning. So it's, it's built in bolted and not bolted on. <laughs> London, London's a strange place. Um, I'm a Scot, brought up and lived in New York, uh, worked in London all of my life. Um, historically there, there are many, many beautiful buildings. Uh, I was lucky enough to work on the Royal Opera House when I was a student, my first project. Um, and for me I think it's London, unlike other cities, having lived in Manhattan, is it's the view from a high level. So I, I thought about this earlier and thought, anything above 30 floors, if you have a building in London that you look down on, just around the corner is Centre Point, which is a hated 1960s Seafoot building. But the view from the top of it is fantastic. I, I used to live in a high apartment in the Barbican, same floor, 33rd floor, and you get this panorama of London in a different way. Um, inspiration for me comes from very many, many different sources because we work across a wide sector of, of things. I think you have to travel, you have to engage, you have to research, you have to be involved in new technologies. And I think the whole em embeddedness of um, innovation and teaching and what we're looking forward to kind of drives what your architectural or product solutions are. Um, and it's about long-term vision and, and it's about how you bring those two things together. I mean, the work we've been doing with Citizen M is that it's driven by Philips technology, but it's also about how the, the product works together in a different way. My own home, same thing, you, you know, a wireless, kind of no, no, no complication solution would be the best solution. Mm -hmm.